TJ, finally I am back. This one was what, a month long? Didn't mean for it to happen. I was trying to be more consistent and you know, I succeeded with that for a while. I was doing you know, every other day and then you know, a lot of things came up. Um, I have my own apartment and it's just you know, setting things up, you know, ordering stuff, having things come in, receiving deliveries, whole mess of things, unpacking, but finally I am here, I am back, and I have a ton of stuff to unbox and review and do on feet looks of, because I've been just, you know, throughout this I've been ordering sneakers, I haven't worn any of them yet, um, so I'm going to try to pop out these videos as quickly as possible so I can start wearing them, because I'm excited. This one, I didn't do an unboxing for. Like, you've seen, you know what a fucking Nike unboxing looks like. It's a box, you got tape with stripes on it. You know, that's all it is. But, pick these up on sale. Now this is a Jordan Retro, and they were on sale. That's, that's just something to say right there. This is a Jordan Retro, picked up on sale on Nike.com. The original retail on these was $225. You might be able to kind of figure out what it is with that. These came out All-Star Weekends. And you know, All-Star Weekends, all the shoes are generally hyped. Cause you know, it's the All-Stars. I thought this was gonna be an instant sellout. I really did. And you know, it moved somewhat well at first, but then sat for the most part simply because of the price tag. I feel at least the price tag because these shoes are incredibly dope. But I guess with just that price tag, you know, no one was paying 225 for it. I wasn't. They did not drop these down to 190, you know, their typical retail for a Jordan, but you know, people still weren't jumping on it. So, but then they went on sale. Nike had a was it 30% off, 25% off. And since these were technically marked down to 190, tech, they were on sale. So I was able to get them at that 30% off. Here's the receipt. Oh, I'm sorry, 25, 30% ah, off, whatever it was. I got them for that price. And look at these. These are just beautiful. I don't care what anybody says. This is a beautiful sneaker. I think I got these for one. 57 158 which is incredible to get a Jordan retro for a hundred for less than hundred and sixty dollars in today's day and age you know back in the day when they retailed for that price cool 160 170 but to get a Jordan retro in 2017 for less than hundred and sixty dollars hashtag blessed <laughs> but anyway Look at these beautiful shoe. The entire upper is done in a like an iridescent kind of, I don't know, it's like, it kind of looks all foily, but it's not. This is actual, actually leather. I'm pretty sure this is actual leather. Whole upper is done in that. The entire like midsole area is all blacked out and you have some translucent sole that even has an iridescent type glare to it, which is pretty cool. The back, ah, the back jump man is a little different. as you know a little octagon around it. That's done in black stitching. The whole shoe is pretty blacked out. I mean, there's not. I mean, yeah, not too much going on other than the iridescent all over. They, you know, they kind of just put black detailing on everything else. The jump man, the tongue, the laces, the top tongue part, you know, the lace lock, all of that is blacked out. Sock liner, pull tab, everything is just murdered out black except for the upper, which I guess is cool because the upper itself will stand out. So, I mean, I guess you kind of want everything else airbag to kind of be as you know stand back and let everything and let the upper do the talking but there's a quick little look at these joints right here because anytime you get a Jordan retro 
for below retail, it is a good motherfucking day, right? So, without further ado, the on foot look will be coming up soon. I do have a couple more unboxings to handle, uh, more on feet looks to handle. Everything will be coming out pretty soon. I do have a couple of, you know, sneaker topic videos to do. A couple, um, I kind of got the crep, I got, was it crep? I think, no, I got one of the sneaker cleaners in, Jason Marks, crep, one of those. I got that in and I want to do kind of a review on it. I got a pair of really dusty, dirty shoes that I want to use the cleaner on and see, you know, if it's worth the hype or, you know, you just want to use soap and water. But that wraps up this. I do have a brand new sneaker um, that's that just came in, um, a brand new model that I can't wait to look at on box because that is something special. I keep looking over there because it's sitting right there and it's just... It's just beautiful. But anyway, till next time, TJ out.